Hello friends, welcome to the part 4 of our signal app. So if you haven't watched the part 1, 2 and 3, then you can check my description. I added the video link. So in this part, we are adding the functionality. So both the user can chat in this our group. So for that, first we have to pass the navigation. So user can actually navigate between different screens and route. So user can send the message to one another. And here I want to display the chat name of our user. So here there is YouTube group. So I want to display here YouTube group. So I write here route dot params dot chat name. So now save the file. Now when I save, you can see here this chat name is showing perfectly. So here I want to set the CSS for our header. So this will look attractive. So for that I want to use this use layout effect and I want to pass the navigation here inside this I want to set the options So first I want to display the title here, so title that is chat and I want to apply for our header title, so header title. inside this view first let us apply inline style method flex direction is row and align items is center now inside this view first i want to display the avatar of our user so avatar and this is self closing tag and I want to use rounded avatar and to provide URL. This is the syntax in React Native. So I want to apply this default URL now. So this is our default URL image that I want to display first. Then we will modify according to our individual user profile image. And now after this after I want to display the text. Inside this I also want to display chat name. So save this file. You can actually show the chat name here with this nice avatar. Now I want to make this chat name white. So I want to apply inline style here. Color is white. Margin left is 10. And I want to make this chat name bold. So save this file and refresh. Now similar like our header title, I want to apply style for our header right. So here, header right. So whenever I go on this, you can see here our CSS is added successfully. And here, 
inside our view. First, I want to use the touchable opacity. And inside this, I want to display the video camera icon that is in every chat app. So for that, I want to use font awesome. Name is video camera. Size of our icon that is 24 and color of our icon is like white. Then close this tag. Now I want to apply another icon. So I use touchable opacity. Inside this, I want to apply icon for call. So I use these iron icons, name is equal to call, size is 24 and color is also white. So now first we have to import these font icons and iron icons to so go inside importing section and right here import font awesome and iron icons from expo vector icon Now save the file, you will see the difference. Now click on this and our icons is not added because here we have to write size. So now again save and refresh our page. But still there are missing something. Yes, we have to use these brackets instead of curly brackets. So now our camera icon will show successfully, but first we have to apply inline styles. So there is space between our two icons. So refresh our page. You can see here guys, the nice video call camera icon and simple call icon that will on every messaging app so this looks pretty much good so now the time is come to implement this part so here now i want to remove this basic stuff and i want to use safe area view and first I want to collect all of this part so flex 1 and background color will be white and inside this safe area view first I want to use view style is equal to let us apply class name so styles dot container and inside this I want to apply touchable opacity so touchable without feedback so if our user will type some message and if he click on the outside of this area then our keyboard will be dismissed so for that I am using 
untouchable without feedback so on press our keyboard will be dismiss so keyboard dismiss and now i want to use this fragmentation inside this i want to use this scroll view so user can actually scroll the chats and i want to apply here inline style so content container style padding top 15 so our first chat will have some margin between this line and our first set so padding is 15 and here there will be actually chat so after this scroll view there is view for our footer so here our user can actually type the message that he has to send so let us apply class name so styles dot footer inside this i want to apply text input so user can actually text the message that he has to send so for that i am using the use state And here first I apply input message is null so input set input is equal to use state and here you can see there is gap between our first set and this line because we apply padding top and now const is for our messages set messages is equal to use state now here come inside this footer part so inside this i want to use this text input and this is self closing tag the value is input on change text So we pass the actual text change our input from null state so set input text and if our user press enter so on submit editing the function that we have to call that is send message and the placeholder is signal message placeholder is signal message and let's apply css so styles dot text input here you can see text input is not defined so let us import so first of all i don't want to use this 
react native gesture handler so i want to import these things from our react native so paste here and i also want to import text input so save this file guys and let us create our function that is send message so above of this return i want to define our function send message so save this file refresh our page when i go inside this you can see here guys nice input field is added successfully so first let us apply css for our text input so here make sure the t is capital and for messages here is an empty array so you can see here we are writing some message inside our signal message now after this input field i want to provide the button or you can say the touchable opacity so touchable opacity and we are on press on that then we go inside send message I want to reduce the opacity so active opacity is 0.5 and here I want to use that iron icons the name of our icon is send size will be 24 and color that is blue now save the file and you can see the nice icon after this input now you can see the nice send icon is showing perfectly now so now let us apply css for our this footer so go inside this first footer I want to show flex direction row align items is center and now I also want to apply CSS for our container class and that is not too long so container flex 1 so now save the file here you can see the input text will go down and now I want to apply CSS for our this input field so i write here text input and i want to use this css so this is the not css video this is the whole react native video for building signal app so i not go inside the detail you can see guys the nice text input file is added successfully so we can send the message to our another user now to store the actual message inside our firebase 
here we have to do this kind of logic so first of all when we are pressing on this button then the function that is called send message so we have to improve this function so first of all let us import all as firebase from firebase and now i also want to import authentication and database from firebase now go inside our function send message so whenever our user click on this first i want to dismiss our keyboard so keyboard dot dismiss now first i want to store these stats so go inside collection of chat then inside the collection of our chats you can see here there is the individual id so route dot params dot id and then i want to go inside the collection of our id collection of messages then i want to add the message that our user print according to time so i want to use timestamp and i use server timestamp so if our one user will be in india and second is in america then there are different time so i want to use server timestamp so first we have to use field value server timestamp then here i want to print the input inside our message input is basically this field this field is input then i want to store the display name of our user he sends the message to another user so authenticate dot current user display name and i i also want to import the email of our authenticated current user dot email and the last one that i want to store is photo url of our current user photo url and this all of these things done then i want to set this input to null so we can allow to send new message instead of giving backspace so now save the file refresh our firebase so here you can see why i writing this stuff because first to store our message i want to go inside collection of chats then i want to go inside in individual id and then i want to go inside the collection of our message that is here and i want to store all of these things of our user time message of username email and photo url so now let us test this functionality first i want to send the hi
so the hi message will be sent but here you can see keyboard dot dismiss is not function so let us import this now save the file refresh the page and send the message again so i want to send hi here photo url is undefined so u is capital here So now again send the message. Please don't laugh guys. So now our message is successfully sent. So go inside our Firebase. Refresh this page. And you can actually get inside our Firebase that our message is updated with user display name and photo URL all of these things. So now go inside this messages. And you can get the idea inside this ID, the all of these things of our user according to our message is stored now. So this deserves an apply use. Now I want to make the use of use layout effect because if our user will re-enter our app, then the chat is also showing. So for that I am adding the listener method so use layout effect and let us also import and this is also imported now so use layout effect first I want to pass the function and I want to use the cleanup method to clean up our functions so unsubscribe so let's go inside our database collection of chats then I want to go inside our individual ID so doc dot route dot param Then I want to go inside our collection of message. So collection of message. Then I want to show the message ordered by our timestamp. So order by timestamp and this is descending order. So the last message will show appear on the top of our home screen. So then I want to use on snapshot method. So this is real time messaging value. So snapshot. I want to pass one parameter and remember by default our message state is empty array. So now I want to improve the message state with this set messages. So let us use our snapshot. If you have don't idea according to this snapshot, then you can simply go inside the documentation. So snapshot dot docs and I want to map through all of our things and pass one default parameter that is doc and map is similar like array. And inside this first I want to store our ID and data so remember guys this is our id and this whole stuff inside of our id is data now we have to return our unsubscribe one two three
and here we also want to pass our route because this is our messaging stuff and there is one missing counts and remember here is snapshot so now save our file and uh, all of these things is done now because there is no error so after this listening part to print the actual message here first we have to go inside our scroll view and we have to map through our messages so messages dot map so remember by using this set dot messages we are changed the message state from empty array to something and now we are print the messages with this map and here we have to pass id and data so if our email is is equal to authenticated current user then it is the receiver so if this is true so if our email is verified to send the message then it will go inside this part otherwise he will be sender so it will go inside this so now inside this view first i want to give the individual id of our sender or receiver and i apply the class name so styles that is receiver And inside this, I actually want to print the avatar. And after this, I want to print our message. So I use this text and apply the CSS. So I define the class name. So styles dot receiver text. Then here I actually want to print the message inside this text so i use this data dot message and the same things is done for our sender but here instead of receiver text sender and i also want to apply the key for our sender and styles is sender so now save this file so now let us apply style for our receiver so I want to apply following style background color border radius then position is relative and save this file guys refresh our page and you can see our receiver side there is two message is show here if you don't get any message then check here the message is instead of only message and now to apply style for our sender part go down sender and this is the alternative css from this receiver side now we have to also apply inline style for our avatar so I again mentioned this is not CSS video. This is the whole signal app video that we are built using React Native. 
so i don't go inside detail of css but here you can understand there are something different css for our mobile app and our web so if we are open our app in web then our position is absolute button is minus 15 right is minus 15 minus 5 and for our app these kind of things and here is the source of our avatar so here actually our avatar will show according to this css and our avatar will rounded and we also have to show the avatar for our sender side but our sender side avatar will show at left hand side so instead of this right i do here left and i also want to show the sender name after his text because inside group there are many sender but we are only one receiver so text style is equal to styles dot sender name and here i want to display data name so data dot what happening guys display name so here the actually name of our sender will show at left hand side now to achieve our looks more good i also want to apply css for our sender name sender text and the last one is for our receiver text so go here and let us apply this so receiver text is color black font weight so it will look bold also for our sender text and the color of our name of sender will be at white so now first let us go inside this you can see here my avatar is showing from the bottom of our text because we apply inline style for our avatar now i want to suggest that remove this margin width because that will generate error inside our mobile app so if you working on android device then you can definitely show the error now save the file so now to check the functionality at sender side now i want to copy this link and paste inside my browser so first of all we have to register inside our app and let us elon musk register in signal app this is just for fun You can also see this password and here we want to provide the picture URL of Elon Musk. Go inside this field images and I want to copy this link. So copy image link and let us paste here and click on register. So here I want to go inside this YouTube group and here you can see at the home screen Elon Musk logo is showing too much good and when I send the message inside our YouTube group Hi I am Elon Musk then send you can see here at the Elon Musk side the message is sent from the receiver and if we are sender you can see this we are also getting the message of elon musk and this looks pretty much good so if our new user will be added which register inside our app then his message will also appear inside our app so this is the end of this part four guys if you want to continue with this project then you can check my description 
I added the part 5 video link. So part 5 is the last part of our project. So if you find any error while programming, then you can check my description. I added the GitHub code link. So you can simply copy the code and paste inside your machine. So I hope you guys like this user setting functionality that we are added inside this part. So if you like, then please subscribe to my channel. It takes doesn't much from you, but it helps me to grow my channel. So thank you and bye-bye.